Namaste. Namaste. Let me just make my mustache pretty so I will be beautiful. <laughs> anyway, be blessed and I hope everyone feeling at their best. Whatever it is now, you are at your best. And whatever you are learning, you are your best version. And you can only be better tomorrow. That's all. It's July. Oppo, en energies of opposition. Like I said yesterday, all oh, is coming to challenge the new. If the new is fixed and term in its root, so the old cannot shake you anymore. Ah, it's hot here like anything, I don't know. In my apartment, it's hot more than outside. It's sauna. Hot times everywhere, within, outside, in the world, everywhere. So, I want to go a little deep into religion and into truth, into love. It was long since I did this kind of video, but this is what I love to do. This is where I have most experience in all religions, all good what they do. It's not so much and bad what they do. Their truths and lies and everything. And I want to go deep into that. Anyway, there's a reason because two days ago, some religious people attacked me and sent me somewhere. I was there already, I don't want to go there, you know. Religion is for those who are afraid of hell, you know, but spirituality is for those who've been there, one master said, but I said something better even. Religion is for those who are afraid of hell, but spirituality is for those who are tired of this hell and want to create heaven on earth, and this is us. This is you. And please, if anybody is religious and will oppose what I am to say in this video, turn it off, go somewhere else. You don't have to agree on it because I will block you if I see such comments. That's what I say now with no words. I don't oppose, I teach and no one opposes and teaches against my will. Everyone has their own temples their own spaces that God has given and they have free will to express their beliefs, their truths, their confusions, their illusions in their own spaces, not on mine and not on yours. In their own space, they have right for whatever they want, but not here and not in, in your house. So if anybody religious and want to defend religion, this is not video for such person. This is video for people who are not afraid of hell, but people who are got tired of this hell and want to create heaven on earth. We are the ones we are waiting for. And a few days ago, I witnessed some opposition, but I said, no, I will not make a video when I'm on fire, when I'm hot, because I will wait a few days, then I will speak about this. Because energies are in this month just such. Old is challenging the new. So religion is old. Love, truth, unity, the rainbow, truth behind all the religions and confusions is truth. You know, it's new. It's new way. And those who are dwelling in religion, in separation, is old way. And naturally now, they are coming, opposing those who practice spirituality, those who want to embody God in their being. And they're calling us all the names that they're calling themselves in the mirror. We don't care. We remove. But I'm telling you what is going on in this July of opposition. <laughs> Like on one side, maiden, the cancer, and on the other side, experience matriarch, the Capricorn, two sides of feminine. One 
spiritual one of this world. And sometimes it reflects. And because the Uranus is in Taurus, there is stirring up of everything old. And naturally, you know, these energies feel like a religious energy feels that it's over. Their time is up. And they fight for their life. They feel threatened. Because religion is belief. And belief is not truth. It's something you have to believe and others have to accept. So you think is truth. And if they don't accept, you feel, oh, but truth, enlightened truth with God, the source, being you, you are the truth. So you are not, I am not bothered with their religion on their pages, on their walls, in their churches. I am the truth, I'm the way, I'm the light, I don't need. Truth defends itself. I don't need confirmation and others to believe or to accept what I say. But religious people, they need, you know. Their mind needs. Their mind gets so agitated. If you are speaking the truth that is against their beliefs, they have to shoot it upon you. And even when you tell them, like I tell them, you have a right for your religion and your beliefs. God has given you that right, but not in my home. I'm not religious. God will judge me, I say, not you. Angels don't judge, so don't do that. Follow your re religion, spread your religion in your own place. I bless you, but go away from here. And even when I say that, they cannot. They have to send me to hell. They have to do something, you know. I am in heaven. Kingdom is within me. Nobody can send me anywhere because I was there. And ev every one of us was there. And we have risen, those who dare to risen. And now we are smiling at this nonsense. Religion, what it is, what it is. Really God means in ancient Roman, it means to rule over. Ha. To rule over, huh? It's just part of the system. Because in the past, churches run this world with religion and beliefs and their fears, threats, and all the condemnations. So they had the power to rule the world, you know. And it was just like today banks are ruling the world and Zionism and uh, this uh, big companies. And before it was same group behind the religion. Now it's still, but the religion has no, not so much power in the world. It has still in consciousness of people, but not in the world. So the power shifted, you know. Even that time was a sign that a religion is to eventually die, you know. So how religion got created? Like, let me give you the example of Jesus Christ and his Gospels. It should be, this book should be so thick, so thick at least, and no Old Testament in, and many things are changed to serve the darkness, to serve the separation. And everything mystical, like Gospel of Thomas, who Jesus is explaining that I am you, is telling to Thomas how to become greater than him. There's no separation that he's just showing him who he is. Yet they did not show this to humanity. Gospel of Mary Magdalene, the glories of divine feminine. They did not show this to humanity. They did not include this in religion. Jesus was crucified by Jews, by the direction of Jews, because he was against the old ways, old religion. He wanted to break revolutionary, spiritual revolutionary, with truth, with love. Yet they included in the Bible the Old Testament. And they somehow had the right, they thought they had the right to exclude everything that is to bring unity to the world and peace. 
and include everything that is to bring wars, like Old Testament, and many lies in the New Testament. So who gave them the right, huh? Like Jesus is giving the truth, something completely else that now Christianity is preaching, something that is in Gospel of Thomas. But who gave them the right to choose? Okay, this Gospel we keep. No, this one we don't. This Gospel we keep. No, this one we don't. So are they greater? Are they above? But that's how religion was created. And I'm giving now emphasis to Christian religion very much. I'll tell you something else also. The true followers of Jesus were not eating meat. They were very nonviolent. But the Romans, they have established the first church in the name of Jesus Christ. And they loved all the hedonism so much. And the Constantine, the one who established, and he was un behind the printing of the first Bible and con Council of Nicaea, Constantine, he actually exterminated all the Christians before the true followers of Jesus Christ, before he established that religion. And he was pouring malted steel in their mouths if they refused to take meat because he needed to, because he saw Roman Empire is going down. I just need to transfer the power into some other organization that is to have similar core values and the rule of the world can go on. So he exterminate all the true followers of Jesus Christ. Then he said, I'm converted. What I did, oh, what I did, now I will establish church in the name of Jesus Christ because what I did. Yeah, you see, he killed all his followers, then he pretended that he's sorry and now he is to worship Jesus and <laughs> establish the religion which is still here. The same Bible that was published back then <laughs> is the one you have in your shelf. <laughs> same, same. And only Essence and some of the hidden monks, they have the hidden Gospels, which are now coming out very rapidly. Very rapidly. So this is the example how religion gets created. My brothers and sisters, <laughs> you know, the Master comes, regardless who it is, Krishna, Jesus, Manandai, regardless who, you know, Maya Shoda, many masters, many masters in India, here, all over the places, through ages. But as Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, as I descend in this world, I bring pure knowledge, pure truth to the humanity. But time and wicked men always destroy my pure truth. And after some time, I have to come back. This is said in Bhagavad Gita. So, Master comes in this world, he brings the truth. He brings the truth that unites us all as brothers and sisters under one God with many names and no names, many forms and no forms, all religions, no religion, we all are one. We have same God in our heart. And Master comes into this world and presents this truth according to place and time where he is, and according to the consciousness of those who is approaching in that color, in that tradition, you know. But pure truth with intention to unite, with intention to bring peace upon the world, with intention to end all the separation, you know. And like Christianity was established 400 years after Jesus left this world. And you know, as it goes usually, Master is pure, pure embodiment of God. And then he, the next generation is not more of same consciousness, the next also not. And then even though if there is not such corrupt story like with Constantine and Christianity, as they establish the institution, this is no more of same consciousness, same concepts, 
and nothing. It's just religion. The truth was there. The seed was planted there. You know. And it is always like this. Always like this. Through time, truth yet lost and lies rule. Like, we had religious wars in the name of Jesus Christ. That's why Muslim retaliating. <laughs> it was massacre a thousand years ago. Do you know? And Jesus was very clear. Love thy brother. Don't harm anyone. Do to others what you want to be done to yourself. He never said, take a sword and go and kill everybody who does not accept me. But yet, religion, his religion did this in his name. He said, love your brother. Everybody will get salvation according to his own faith. Yet they burned the witches. They burned everybody who was seeking enlightenment and truth. For they were afraid for their lives. So in the name of Jesus, they killed so many people in Europe. In the name of religion. And Jesus was very clear about it. Even in the published book, it is said, Love thy brother as you want to be loved yourself. Do to your brother what you want to do to yourself, what you want to be done upon you. He never said, go and kill everyone who does not accept me or does not follow the way you follow. So what I'm trying to say to you now, that religion is a lie. Religion, is, religion serves dark forces. They are very much tricky. They are very much bothered when such pure being comes into this world in the old energy like 2,000 years ago. And as master leaves, then they say, yes, yes, in your name we will now kill people. We will separate the world. We will make wars in your name. Something you never wanted. <laughs> we will use you to create more terror and more darkness and more separation in the world. That's what they do. That's what they do. But their time is over. That's why now there is in the world so much opposition. Religions are falling. The corruption in the churches is coming out. Corrupt priests and pastors and everything. They are on the scene. Gurus are falling down in India. Thanks, Lord, because they're enslaving the humanity under the pretext of freeing them. Everyone now who does not want unity and love and enlightenment for everyone as himself has problems in spiritual life. Their institutions with followers, with everything. And even people, those who are awakened here, but don't want to let go of religion and even don't choose so, they have much problems. That's why they attack those who are free and happy. Because deep inside their feet, their religion is dying. Their lives are dying, you know. And those who are in truth, they are smiling. They are teaching like now I'm teaching to shed some light. And they are smiling as they do it. Because God knows in our heart. And when God knows, you are sure, what's their problem? God will judge us, not them. If, when they're pointing a finger, they're pointing three at themselves, you know. You see, even these people, <laughs> even these people, they are screaming the name of Jesus all over the place, but they are pointing fingers <laughs> and they're judging and accusing. Everything what Jesus told them, don't do. Don't judge. Don't accuse. Let God judge. You do your work. Spread love among humanity. No, no, no. They have to, in their actions, be against the master they follow. But they stand for that religion and they scream that master's name all the time. But even in the Bible it said, Jesus will say, I don't know you. <laughs> if you act like that, you know. So, religion, there was time when religion was needed. It is not so black and white also. There are only few people who were on the earth that could accept and receive the pure truth and they got it 
And yes, religion was created by the dark, but humanity, actually consciousness created religion. Consciousness created Rome. Consciousness created everything. Our consciousness, our human consciousness. Yes, all these things happen, but it's all just the reactions and responses to our consciousness. So, in this way, people had, because their consciousness is so low in general, at least they had some belief of God and fear to do go good and some things. Some little things were there. And religion helps them so next life they can come to the pure truth. Like that. You know. So it's not all black and white. And the dark forces think that as they change the books and change the essence, that they remove the light and the blessings and the empowerment of a master out of the book. But no, it still remains inside. Even though half is changed, they don't know that people still get benefit and their souls still get purified. And next life, they have to go after pure truth. <laughs> You know, that's religion. So, those who are in religious consciousness now, this is what they have to be in. This is what they have to believe. This is their game. This is their level of the game. And they have right, and they have to be on that level. But they have no right to attack us. You know, because they think they are very righteous. They think they are enlightened. And when they see somebody on the highest level that they are, they cannot understand. They think he's pretending to be God. And they will, they feel very righteous to condemn you in the name of Jesus Christ then, you know. But this they have no right to do. They have right to their religion on their level. But in my house, they don't have right to do that. They have right to let me be in my truth, as I let them be in their lives. Because, once again, they should not do to his brother what his brother is not doing to them. <laughs> oh, you see, who's following who? They're screaming they follow something, and they don't. That's religion. Religion is corruption, perversion of the truth in the name of the master that brought it. The truth is one. Truth is love and unity. Krishna brought that truth. Buddha brought that truth. Jesus brought that truth. All the masters, Sri Ananda Mai, all the masters, you know, in the world. Radharani brought this truth. Mary Magdalene brought that truth. Every master brought that truth. Same truth. And that truth is, kingdom is within you. God is within you. You are a child of God. You can embody God in your body. We are all one. We all belong to the same rainbow. There's no separation. Love each other. Don't hurt each other. You don't want to be hurt by others, so don't hurt others. Don't accuse. Don't judge. Be an angel. Be love. Focus on love. All the masters were telling us that same thing. But some on the deeper level, some on the more shallow level. It's depending on the state of consciousness of the place where they were in. So much they could reveal, you know, so much they could reveal. But actually, they, their truth in the essence was same truth. Love each other. We all are one. We all are brothers and sisters. Do good to each other. Don't, good, don't do to each other what you don't want to be done upon yourself. You have this in Gita, you have this in Gospels, you have this everywhere in every teaching. Because this is the core teaching. In giving we receive. You know, it's nothing exclusive to one master. Actually, if you dare to go deep, if you dare to release the religion, you see we all are one. And there is no one. Like in India, they say Krishna is the one, or Buddha is the one, some even now. Because he never said he's the one. And in West they say Jesus is the one. And then they fight. And what about if all of those are just one same soul. One same master. And they are fighting. They hate 
the one incarnation, they hate Krishna and condemn him, and they love Jesus. What if they are hating and loving same soul, huh? Like you have in Christianity, they hate other religions very much. If you follow them, you go to hell. But the enlightened masters see you are hating your own master in other form. Are you stupid? No, you're not stupid. You are religious. <laughs> and you have a right to be, but I'm too sensitive to deal with this. Sorry. So we go somewhere else. Like that. You know. So yes, religion serves for separation. Separation. And the truth of master's love serves for unity. For love. Separation. Christianity, we are the only ones. Every other faith is false. Everyone who goes to hell, only those who declare Jesus Christ's name. That's Christianity. And in that box, they live. And sadly, many light workers live in that box still. Their choice, if they choose to stay in the religion, is their choice. But it's not the truth. Muslim, they also say, we are the ones, we have right to kill everybody who does not believe what we believe, so we save themselves. Jews, everyone else is not human. Everyone else is some creature. We are the only humans of God. Every other soul comes from hell. This is what they believe in Israel. Yeah. And that's why they attack Palestine, because they think they are demons. Indoctrinated. <laughs> By religion. That same religion that Jesus Christ wanted to destroy. You know. Hindus, we are the most pure. We have most purest wisdom. We have the oldest uh, scriptures. We have the highest spiritual knowledge. We are the kings of spiritual world. That's Hindus. They never attack nobody. They don't do wars. But they have spiritual ego also. So they are the, the best of all these groups. At least they never went to war <laughs> against others. Because their teachings is actually much... I give it to the Vedas. Because in Vedas, it's clearly said we all are one, unity, and no separation. Everything is very deeply explained in the Vedas. But still, Hindus, they think they have the best knowledge. They have the highest, and India is the best. Although it's rotten incompletely. Because of the consciousness. <laughs> and Hindu religion, the true Vedic religion, true Vedic religion, which was destroyed thousand years ago completely by Muslim, was divine feminine. Divine feminine. Krishna, when he came into this world, he was speaking Bhagavad Gita and uh, basic wisdom, basic knowledge to men. They could not get out. But to girls, to gopis, to 108 of his gopis, he spoke in the deepest spiritual secrets of love that no man could never get. It's still in their books. You know, this was true Vedic way. Women were walking around topless and men were not lusty. Men respected their breasts as holy, sacred. There was no lust, no perversion, nothing. Woman was sacred, woman was priestess. That's why you have all the goddesses in India worshipped. Kali, Durga, Radha, Lakshmi. Because it's still there. But you know how religion was created, Hinduism? Muslim invaded and they, 700 years, they were genocided, the temples and the people, and it was terrible throughout India, killing and burning temples and killing. And on the end, they said, dear Hindus, if you want to keep your religion your way, we will let you or we will kill you all. But if you abide to our conditions, we will let you keep your religion. And we have only one condition, that you degrade your wives, your mothers, your daughters on the same stage as our women are. 
And if you do that, you can keep your religion and your way and your condition. Actually, they told them to pervert the core of their religion. It was not a religion, it was way of life that time. So that's why now in India, scripture change, woman is worthless, woman is below the man. And, and, then, you re- and then you read stories of Krishna when he's glorifying only girls, when he's conveying the deepest wisdom only to girls, when he is always around the girls and men are judging him and opposing him and criticizing him and never understanding him. You have this in the Krishna story. But girls, they love him and he loves them. So this, they have these stories there, but they have the new beliefs, you know. And that's why in India, when you go in the evening outside and they are doing Durga Puja, Kali Puja, they worship the goddess. And you see, what the fuck? There's only men out there. Men are dancing. Where are the goddesses? Muslim law does not allow them to go out after nine o'clock. So they cannot... <laughs> They cannot dance and rejoice at the ceremony that is dedicated to goddess. And when men come home, they sometimes even beat them. So this is the Hinduism today. And that's why India is rotten so much. Because they still have this pride. They still have, we are the best. And even though the laws changed, and now they could change their scriptures back to original way. Because nobody could do nothing now. The whole Holocaust is over a thousand years ago in the end. But they never changed. They never changed. Men like to be above women. So now these priests and gurus and everything, they actually preach this. They forgot the truth of real Vedic culture. <laughs> and that's how Hinduism was created. So, So you see, all these religions, Krishna showing the divine feminine, her glories and everything. And now their guru says, no, these were angels from heaven. These were not earthly women. These were not girls. These were angels from heaven. You girls are polluted. You are contaminated. But these were pure girls. Don't identify with them. Krishna would never tell you nothing. Well, I tell you. Truth. And this is what they're telling to girls, to their disciples. And their beautiful books with so many read. But you don't know the situations in the temple and in the religion. The women are standing on the back side of the temple and men are front, separated when they eat. Men get everything first, women last. So it's completely inverted of what it was in reality, in the truth. And yes, I'm very passionate and on fire because I'm for divine feminine. I have golden heart of a woman and burns within me in love. So that's why now I really went on fire speaking on this. So all religions are corrupted. Even in India, true masters, true spiritual masters are in the huts somewhere hidden, dirty, they don't have big temples. I've been in big temples. No, they thank you. But they have big hearts and truth in their heart, like Jesus had and Krishna, Buddha. And they live in the same way as they lived. And we have that love. I have that love. I have that truth. God knows I have that one speaking, roaring. And you have also, is within you, to be revealed. That we have to let go of religion. Religion is not truth. Religion is against truth. Like Krishna came to glorify in divine feminine, Hinduism is putting her down as much as they can. You know, in India, you get more prison if you eat a cow than if you rape a woman. That's the reality. I'm against eating cows. But hey, what the fuck? They have two years for rape? and three years of eating cow meat. Does that mean woman is even less than cow? There. Man, cow, woman, dog. This is India. 
insanity, insanity. And that's what religion does. Religion inverts the pure truth, like I now a little bit explained, very diving deeply, these things from the point of view of Jesus and Krishna, their truth and what was created after, out of them. Something completely opposite to what they brought. You know, they brought unity, they brought love, they brought truth that will unite us all. And in their name, they created something to separate us in religions, men above women, and all the lies and everything. So, what else is there to say? I really have dived deep. So, remember, you are the truth, you are the way, you are the light. If the religious people come attack you, they have right for their lies, but not in your house and you don't owe them nothing. You are the truth, you are the light, you are the way. And more you are the truth, more you are the way, more you are the light, more you are not defending yourself, explaining yourself, and because God knows. Only lies defend themselves, explain themselves, and go to war and attack. Religion does this always. So, like this. Hope everyone enjoyed it. This is my truth. I have been through a lot in India, Middle East. I have been traveling all around the world, seeking myself through long years, ever since I left high school. And I'm experiencing this. I have saw the truth in action, love in action, and lies in action. I have been inside the temples. I have been inside the, the religions. I saw what they're doing, and I got free. Like Hare, Hare Krishna, a religion, no one gets free. Because they tell you, if you leave the guru, if you associate with other people, you are contaminated. And if you leave the guru and our institution, you're going to hell. It's offense. So not many get free of that religion. But those who get free, because that path shows you the Radha Krishna stories and the most deep things, but nobody gets free. But those who get free get deep as me. I never believed their shit because I felt love in my heart. And when I felt they cannot give me nothing anymore, I just left. And everybody should let go of religion just like that. When you feel it's no more helping you, you are just defending your way, you just want to be right. And you feel it's not making you fly, it's not making you progress. You have to let go. There is a religious fear, I will betray Jesus, I'll betray Krishna, I'll betray Guru. No, you're not. No, you're not. You are to do greater things. And that's what Jesus and that's what Krishna wants from you. And every master who are equal to each other. And they are worshipping the goddess. Truth! <laughs> no, they all want you to be greater as them. They have come into this world to show you who you are. You can do greater things. And that's why. We have to empty our cups. It's emptying the cup. Cup is full of religion, full of lies. Empty the cup. And then just meditate and pray, God give me the truth. Fill my heart, fill my cup with the real truth. Don't believe anything, even this video. Listen, but question everything. The answer is within you. But empty your cup and let the source give you the truth. I'm just the activation. I've seen religion, I, I know truth, I am truth. But I'm not trying to convince anybody. I'm just activating and inspiring those who want to be inspired. And I'm inspiring you not to believe anybody on the world, but feel the words and seek the answer within you and let God fill your cup with truth that you are yourself and you are to do greater things. That's my job.
I'm not guru. I'm not creating any religion. I don't want disciples. I don't want nobody to beloved me. I want everybody to be greater as I am, so I can be greater always. And I will end with this word. Fuck religion and love now. We all are love. And I have no problem with traditions. We don't have to release or erase our traditions. No. We can keep them in the true form and we create the rainbow. It's not about destroying the traditions. It's about divine alchemy of turning the traditions into the truth that masters brought on the beginning when they came. And then we can coexist as a rainbow together. And we can have our traditions. Somebody love Jesus, somebody love Krishna, somebody love Buddha, somebody love Pleiadian, somebody love only Source. But we can all be one because we understand there is one love, one Source, one love that I am behind every one of us. And we all are unique expressions of Source, our traditions also. But love is that glue that is to bind all religions together and turn them into rainbow traditions of this earth, new earth. They don't have to disappear. They just have to be the true truth as it was in the beginning. And we are going there. We are not destroying them. We are not removing them. We are just removing all the lies. And what is happening now, all the lies, untruths, Separation is getting purged out, you know. And we all can coexist and we all can be loved if we just listen to masters. Jesus and Krishna both said, don't do to others what you don't want to be done upon yourself. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna telling everyone has free will to do what they want to do. And no one, God given them this free will. No one should take them this away. Focus on your way. Don't focus on their way. Like that. But religious mentality, religious people don't act like this. They will always come after you. They will always come after those who never come after them. Always try to teach them something. Those who never try to teach them anything. Always try to convert those who don't try to convert them. And always try to sell, send to hell those who are praying for them to go to heaven. But not here. I'm here for the truth. I'm here for love. I'm here for those who want love and unity on the earth. In religious separation and one true religion over all the others, we will never get such word. Because, tell you something. There are people who love Krishna in India, they never heard Jesus, and they don't have to. And they are Buddhists, and there are people all over the world who have their own ways. And we will only fight to be right. And again, new wars, again, new terror. No, we have to learn to coexist as a rainbow. But we all have to implement unity and oneness and real realization that everyone has free will to express their faith, their belief, their truth in the way they want. And we have no right to tell them anything. They have no right to convert us also. And as we live in such way, we are ourselves in our own truth and we let others be in their truth. When humanity rises on such level, we can all live in heaven and earth. There's a way up to there. And whatever is happening now, it's part of that way. Old beast doesn't want to die so easily. They will fight and want to break everything and everyone as it does dying. But it's over. The time of religions is over. Time of gurus is over. Time of me being superior of you is over. Now it's time for masters like I am to inspire others' masters to remember that you are greater masters than I am. And our one religion, our one way is love. And in this love, we all can be the rainbow. So please be blessed and let us be the rainbow. 
And if anyone wants to support this channel with one single coin or whatever you want, I accept one single coin with pleasure. You know, you help me to work and I can help many and do my work more until it becomes greater. I know I'm here for greater things, but I can do only what I can do. So I hope everyone was inspired, who was not, I hope they left. And like this, be blessed always, please let us all be love. Truth is love, and she is beyond beliefs of all men. Love, she will bring all the religions, all the colors together into oneness, into love and unity. In the rainbow, religions are like rainbow, now in 3D they are fighting, but in the rainbow 5D consciousness, they all have the true truth again, and they are the rainbow on the sky of heaven, transformed into love as it was in the beginning. So, namaste, hope you enjoyed. Namaste, namaste.